you. You ask me questions, I'm responding to you. I'm addressing you. $100 million audience. Speaker, when the leader of the opposition had the opportunity to speak to 100 million people, he went and he denigrated the country, Madam Speaker. And you went, you went, but listen, 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 my brother, listen, my brother. You told all lies, 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 according to the whole of Dominica and the whole of the world. You're mischievous, and you and you sought to you sought to destroy the economic opportunities of every Dominican man. Uh, what you said was garbage. What you said was garbage. And you and you and you will sleep with it, Madam Speaker. Order, please. Order. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, it hurts me, it hurts me, it hurts me to understand that a man who is aspiring to be Prime Minister of Dominica would go and be so dangerous against his country and his national community. That's what it is. That's what it is. And you are one of a kind in the whole world, Madam Speaker. A dangerous person. You. And that's why the only friend you have is a bunch of terrorists calling for the scenario. That's the only friend you have. And you must tell the parliament, Madam Speaker. simply responding to questions posed to me by the leader of the opposition, Madam Speaker. And I will say finally to him, Madam Speaker, because I, 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 I am friends with Morocco, I have friends in the world, Madam Speaker, I have friends with Andrew, so you have access to intelligence information. And the only friend you have is a polisario who doesn't have a country. And so you have to meet them in Algeria, Madam Speaker. That's where you met them. And and what you must tell your colleagues, what you must tell your colleagues and your party is how much money you got. <laughs> how much money you got. Because I know. Order, please. Order, please. Order, please. How much, how much money you got? You, you get money and you have your colleagues hungry, Madam Speaker. <laughs> hungry, Madam Speaker. Hungry. And you're not helping one person in Marigot with the money you got from the police, sorry, Madam Speaker. How much you got? One the Madam Speaker. Just, you rise, the, the member, are you rising on a point the of member, order? The member, Just, um, or are you rising on a point of order? Yes, the point of What's order. Your, yes. The member is indulging in irrelevancies and dishonesty. Irrelevancies? Honesty. Oh, well, I don't know that um, anything that any member says is honest unless I have personal knowledge of it. But, and you don't know that he's imputing with proper motives? With all the things oh, he's no, saying, but that? you didn't mention improper motives. But he's imputing improper. improper motives to say that I received the money where I received. No. Can I get the tape to play this afternoon as to whether you said imputing oh, oh, oh. improper motives? Me huh? Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker. Yes. Order, the, please. The member has said to this Honorable House yes. that I received the money which I'm saying to this Honorable House. I have never received. Number one. 
Okay. I heard the member say how much. how much. If a person asks you no, how he, much. He has, he has imputed that I received money. And I'm saying I have received no money. And he's also suggested that I am the kind of individual who will have resources and leave my people without. And I'm saying, oh, well. I'm saying, I'm saying, I don't think that, that is, is imputing improper motive. I am ruling that motive. that second one, no. I am saying it's not. That's an of improper motive. Mem the member, if a member says that you have and you're not giving to anybody, that cannot be imputing improper motive. Does. And I'm, well, I it. have ruled that I'm saying it is not. Continue, please. Let the, let the member say what he wants. Yeah, right, um, Madam Speaker. I, I don't recall seeking your permission on that point. <coughs> that the member should say what he wants? That's what you're allowing. Member, honestly. Continue. Continue. The, the, the script is already written. I have, I have, I have on in on in this treated fact, Madam Speaker, evidence that Polisario gave money, Madam Speaker, and Polisario gave money, and if they did not give money, Mr. Little must tell the country. He must he must be reminded that when he came back to Dominica from that trip, right? He said he was he was given promises of assistance. Where is the assistance, Uncle? <laughs> Otilajala, where is the money? And yes, yes, you want to correct me by saying that you got money. I am saying to you, I will correct myself by saying you, you got plenty money. <laughs> Plenty money you got, Madam Speaker. So when you come here to challenge, when you come here to challenge us, to challenge us, you make only one trip after the hurricane in your capacity as leader of the position. One trip, Madam Speaker, and you went to a to see a group of people who don't who do not even have a village council, who do not have a little rock, a tree to call a country of your own. Who the United Nations, who the United Nations doesn't recognize as a country? Who is not a member of the WHO? Who is not a member, member of, of um, WTO? And all of the United Nations organs around Africa, that's your little friend, brother. One little friend you have in no country and you come here and tell us about who we have. Look at, see who gave us money. Man of speaker. And I'll tell him, when I did not go to country management. I went to the United Kingdom, and I sat with the government there, Madam Speaker, and I negotiated with them a package of assistance. I, I spoke to the Prime Minister of Canada directly by telephone. I spoke to, I went to the European Union, I went to the European Commission, and I met with the leadership there, Madam Speaker, after the hurricane. I went to Washington, and the World Bank, and I spent a whole day at the World Bank negotiating with them because I told them I do not want only 60 million, I want 110 million. <laughs> and we got it. Before I left, I told them I'm not coming to Washington for little money. And when we went there, I spent a whole day with them. They would give me a little sandwich <laughs> at my lunch because we had no time for lunch. And I want to thank the, the, the the, 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 the uh, Mr. my friend at the, the, the World Bank. And we got help, and we've gotten promises of help because of our vision to create the world's first country. Can the member for Salisbury stop? Just one moment. Can the member for Salisbury stop not talking again? And, and Madam Speaker, we came into Parliament last month to pass the Cree legislation and the Canadians and the British have agreed to finance the operations of the Creed for the next five years. And people that are helping us because the hurricane hit us. 
They helped us because the, the government, they can trust the government and the leadership of this country. And that we have articulated a vision that many thought that we were, were, were punching beyond our reach. And people admired that ability that in the midst of a disaster, when the, your leadership was, was homeless, that you could think of such profound things and go to the United Nations in less than four days after the hurricane and to articulate a vision on the world stage. That's what has caught the attention of the world. Leadership, let us speak of our country. And instead of you coming to New York to help us, you were there protesting on the side of the road, talking nonsense. And you come here and challenge me about, about negotiations, Mr. Linton. Who are our friends? Who are your friends? I can tell you all our friends who are friends. All our friends. But only one friend you have, not even a, 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 on, a, on a dry leaf, they're standing. That's your friend that, that, that you want to go and take Dominica to? That not even the UN recognizes them? The people who are advising you on foreign policy do not know foreign policy. And you must stop listening to them. And if you want to learn about foreign policy, come to Vekas, I will help you. In the conclusion, in my conclusion of this debate, Madam Speaker, I think the issues have been adequately um, thrashed out and dealt with.